Tourism is really driven by our Indian tribes in Oklahoma. We are a destination because of these tribal nations. One of the great aspects of uh, the, the gaming market here in Oklahoma is we're bringing folks in from out of state. If you would give them a great five-star hotel, five-star restaurant, a wonderful casino experience, they're gonna wanna stay in your area for a while. Maybe do some shopping downtown, um, stop at one of our local uh, wine bars. When they're staying here, they eat in our restaurants, buy our gas, a lot of people stop over here. Here in Durant, 85% of their customers come from Texas, and it's been really good getting folks from Dallas-Fort Worth to come across the river and actually see what a great state that we have. So we have people from Texas driving into Oklahoma, spending money in Oklahoma, which is a benefit to the state of Oklahoma that we wouldn't ordinarily have. We are bringing millions into Oklahoma. 85% of our clientele comes from Missouri and Arkansas. The tourism impact that we have in the state, it goes way beyond gaming. The Chickasaw Nation chose to brand I-35 all the way from the border with Texas to Oklahoma City. And just an example of, of tribal governments kind of going above and beyond. The visitor center, the, when you come in from the state of Texas, when you cross the border, that's run, operated at the expense of the Choctaw Nation. There are many things that make Oklahoma unique, but the one thing that I hear is everybody wants to know about the history and heritage of our Native American people. Sometimes because we're close to the tribal influence here, we forget how fascinating and enriching in our cultural traditions the tribes have been. And yet other people from around the world and around our country come here to learn more about all of our, our tribal customs. We don't have a Grand Canyon. We don't have a Niagara Falls. But what we do have are 39 Indian tribes with historical sites, with museums, with cultural events, dances, and art. You know, we've long been the home of Red Earth. It's a celebration of Native culture um, and Native peoples. It's a voice and a culture that we need to continue to embrace in Oklahoma. It makes us unique. When we get that American Indian Cultural Center and Museum done, it is going to be a huge tourist destination draw. And I think it will be a gem for our city and community and for our entire state. It'll really be an opportunity to tell the positive story of all the uh, tribes of, of Oklahoma. I think what we can do to understand the tribal backgrounds will only help us as we go together in the future hand in hand. We are united for Oklahoma, committed to mutual respect and productive partnerships. To join the conversation, visit unitedforoklahoma.com.